what's been stratified here. And we're underneath our Mark 6 GTI development car, and we just installed the Franken Turbo uh, Hybrid KO4 turbocharger uh, that we uh, we also offer for tune on our website. So I wanted to give you a quick overview of how things look uh, look underneath here. So we're just buttoning it up. Uh, there's the exhaust housing of the of the turbo and the compressor housing. Uh, we have a cob downpipe here. The uh, Franken Turbo comes with uh, all new hardware, so studs and nuts and, and gaskets, which is which is all very nice. Uh, one of the things to to make a note of is that the oil lines and uh, so this is the oil feed line going up to the top of the turbo and this is a coolant line so they they have this clasp that comes together um, in the OEM lines but they won't do the same uh, with the fracking turbo just because of the larger compressor housing so also this bracket here does no longer no longer attaches uh, that's okay uh, the lines as long as you install them uh, you know with some care. Make sure there is no rubbing, uh, they should be just fine. Um, coming around to the uh, the charge pipe here, so the Franken Turbo comes with a uh, charge pipe included, which is nice. Uh, connects uh, to the OEM uh, uh, hose here that goes to the frontline intercooler. And, uh, and also here is the an elbow that you want to be careful when you install this silicone elbow, so you don't uh, have it um, basically rubbing against the timing cover. Um, other things to, to note, so some of the more difficult parts of the job, if you need to get this axle out of the way, uh, do so, don't hesitate because it, it makes accessing everything in here, the downpipe, uh, the lines and so on a lot easier. Um, also that uh, that pesky heat shield on top of the turbo is probably one of the more challenging things, the, the two bolts and, uh, and the one plug underneath it uh, just to get to. Uh, otherwise the ki kit is very complete, very OEM-like and uh, it, you know obviously it makes a lot more power uh, than, than an OEM turbo would. Um, we also have our DV Plus here but uh, yeah we're looking forward to uh, to tuning this car uh, once uh, we got it all buttoned up. Just wanted to give you a quick overview how things look like uh, under here and a couple of, uh, of tips of just removed the axle. Um, that, that heat shield up top it's a bit of a pain once you get out of the way it's much better. Um, and otherwise it all it all bolts up uh, pretty straightforward just to be be careful of the lines um, and everything should come in uh, very nicely.